Good morning, Lynn and Mr. Naha. Uh, just to let you know, uh, we are now live on YouTube. All right, good morning. Is the link on the website now? I just sent the um, I just sent the uh, link to uh, Mr. Greer, so he's working on it. Okay. So far, we have about three people watching on YouTube right now.
Josh? Josh? Yes, Lynn. Would you be able to email that link out to the um, teachers? I sent it, yeah. I sent to it all? out already. Oh, okay, because I'm getting uh, emails. Yeah, I sent it out, so. Eight thirty nine AM was when the email was sent out to all teachers with the link. Okay, great. We have about so let me you... get in contact with Mr. Greer and see how far he's on that posting on the website. Okay. We have about seventy six on right now.
Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our YouTube live session. We're going to give it a few more minutes to allow some more students to join. Uh, so a few more minutes. Okay, thank you all for waiting and being patient. Josh? Yes, For holding. We will be right with you. Hey, okay, Josh, if you can yes, mute please. everybody, we're going to get started now. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our YouTube live session and the first day of school. I'm glad that everybody woke up early and you're able to join us this morning. Um, I'm going to get started by giving you a rundown of what the day is going to look and the agenda for today. And then I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Naha, who's going to give everybody a big welcome for the first day of school. Welcome. Um, 
I want to go over um, some, some directions for what the day is gonna look like and uh, an idea of what the format will look like for the week, okay? So that you're all aware. Um, every day, um, what we'd like you to do every morning is at 8.15, I don't know if you did that today, at 8.15, make sure you're checking your emails, your student emails and your a Canvas account or your Gmail account. You should be given an email by your first hour teacher, which will be your homeroom teacher. So every morning, use the link, the Zoom link that's sent to you, and you're going to log in at 8.15 for attendance. That's really important because it'll be a part of your grade. So make sure that you're logging in every morning for your attendance. The next step every morning after we take attendance is to go to the website, okay, you're going to use this link that you're on right now, the YouTube link for student orientation. And every morning this week, we're going to have a live session, okay? So make sure after you take attendance, you're joining the live session as you are now. And then the third step after the live sessions are over with in the morning, in the afternoon, you'll be going into your Canvas account. Make sure you're using your Gmail, uh, email account uh, or email address, and then using your password to log into your Canvas account. In the afternoon, you'll be doing independent work. You'll be clicking on the Canvas training modules and you'll be working on those independently. And you'll have your first hour teacher checking in with you through email to make sure that you're getting the trainings and you can ask them questions as well, okay? All right, so let's start off for today. Today on the agenda, we're going to have uh, Mr. Albin Naha, the superintendent, who will be giving a morning address and welcome to all the students. And then I'll be also the high school principal, Lynn Fredericks, also giving an address after Mr. Naha. And uh, then we'll have uh, Josh Sinagini, our IT technician, who will be giving you a little rundown and training on Canvas, which is our new learning platform and uh, talking to you about how to use the Zoom meetings. All right, and so at this point, I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Naha, the Interim Superintendent of Hopi Junior Senior High School. Thank you, Mrs. Fredericks, and good morning to everyone. Good morning to what's been six months in the making of school beginning once again. It's been a long time since we've connected all. So um, I hope you're all doing well out there. Um, and we're looking forward to a wonderful year. Um, it's a unique year. It's something that we no one anticipated, but we're going to make the best of it. And we're going to learn together. We're going to make mistakes together. And we're going to succeed together in the true fashion of who we are, as a Hopi, Tewa, Navajo community and put our best foot forward. And that's what we do. So to start off, I just wanna kind of share some things and as we allow others to get online and uh, uh, get situated with everything that's going on and like always like a first day, there's always something new that pops up. And so we're still waiting on some people to get online, but here's some interesting facts. I'm gonna start off with some interesting facts for you, okay? So, there are approximately 33 million elementary school children in the United States. 17 million kids are attending high school. And 8.6 million little ones are in nursery schools and kindergartens. So that many students are just starting off their academic career. All told, even with that many students, there are about 78 million college kids going back to school every year as well. So that's a lot of kids. In fact, that makes up with all the students that are in either nursery school, Head Start, elementary school, middle school, high school, college, 25% of the US population is over three years old. So that's really neat to know that that many kids are, are going to school. There are 
over 8 million teachers in the United States, 8 million. And we have a wonderful set here of about 50 teachers that are part of Hopi Junior Senior High School. Some little things about school buses. School buses have been around since around the 19, about 1915. Um, and then their official color didn't turn yellow until around 1939. But we had yellow school buses as far back as 1939. And by eliminating parents from having to take their children to school. So uh, a lot of students are, are part of our bus riders and many of us, uh, many of you out there um, are, are a bus rider. So by eliminating uh, parents having to drive their child to work, um, they keep about an estimated, buses keep an estimated 17.3 million cars off the road every year. And that saves about 2.3 billion gallons of gas a year. The largest high school in the United States is in Illinois. It's called Morton High. They have 8,000 students, 8,000 students. So we have a school population of around, usually around 450 students. So that is a huge school and that's just a high school. The largest university in the United States is right here in our backyard. And that's Arizona State University. It's the largest university in the United States. It has 81,000 kids. So forks up for those of you who are ASU fans out there, 81,000 students as part of ASU. So here's some interesting uh, facts about a pencil. So the average pencil can be sharpened 17 times and write about 45,000 words or draw a line 35 miles long before it runs out of its surface. So that's pretty interesting how a typical wood pencil can um, basically write that much. And the final little interesting fact out there, um, something uh, we take the internet for granted and I know there'll be one issues with uh, as you connect online and sometimes our internet would be great and sometimes it won't be so great. 100% uh, of US schools have internet access. So 100% of us now have internet access. Back in 1995, only 50% of the schools had internet access back then. So just some little interesting facts to start off the year and uh, things that you may not have known about. Um, I'd like to have a, a time right now to kind of say a welcome. Uh, but first, let's recognize all of our students out there. First off, a big hearty welcome to our seventh grade students, our new Bruin family members who are coming in, our new enrolled students. Welcome to all of you. Welcome to Hopi Junior Senior High School. All of you make uh, Make them feel welcome out there and welcome to your junior high years. I know you've had some great elementary years and as you're moving up in the world, you're what we call your halfway point. So you went to school, maybe Head Start or kindergarten through sixth grade, and now you only have six more years to go. So for our new seventh graders, you're halfway there to receiving your high school diploma. And to our eighth graders, welcome to your last year of junior high. Make it good, make it strong, be a good role model to the seventh graders. And, you know, it's time to prepare now. It's time to move, get ready to move on to high school for next school year. To our freshmen, hello out there. And welcome to your first day of high school. And your four years, although you think it's four years is a short time, it's gonna fly by really fast. Um, do your best out there, high school, make, you make the most of it. It starts now by earning those credits as well as you know, setting yourself up, depending on what direction you want to go with yourself, college, a career, maybe technical education. So already start thinking about that and setting a path for yourself. Um, and high school will have its ups and downs. Um, just, just take the, um, you know, take the wheel and drive with it and do the best you can and just enjoy it. You're gonna find some great memories um, through your high school years and just be positive be strong.
to our two-year veterans out there, the sophomores, you know, enjoy yourselves this year. Uh, you're a little bit higher up on the food chain, so uh, you made it through your freshman year, and we're very happy to have you back. To our juniors, I consider uh, your junior year to be your best, best year of, uh, of high school. There's something about the junior year, you're, you're getting older, you're uh, just about almost finished, um, um, you still are enjoying high school life, and usually your junior year is, is the most fun time of, of your four years. Um, you just really get to enjoy it and uh, savor the last parts of being a, a student, especially because in your senior year, so much happens. And a big shout out to our class of 2021, our high school seniors. It is an awesome and remarkable journey that I'm quite sure some of you have taken to be at this point. You're in your final year. And I know it's not ideal for you to be starting the school year from home, but you've made it this far. And the journey, I'm sure, as I mentioned with all the other grades, have had its ups and downs, but you are the class of 2021. You are the strong. You are a Bruin. You are a Native American and you are a powerful person. And that is what we hope you leave from Hopi Junior Senior High School with is the knowledge, the skills that you need to be ready. So class of 2021, we're looking forward to a great year with you. And I have some additional facts for you. I looked up some stuff about the class of 2021. You weren't even born yet, did you know, when uh, J.K. Rowling wrote her first Harry Potter novel, Sorcerer's Stone. It was um, published in 1997. So many of you weren't even born yet uh, when Harry Potter came out. Pokemon was just starting the craze. So that was just starting by the time you were born. There was no Family Guy or SpongeBob SquarePants. Family Guy started in 1999. SpongeBob started also in 1999. Uh, for many of you, if you're uh, around at 17, 18 years of age, one of the most popular songs at the time was Ricky Martin's Living La Vida Loca. So that's how, how, how old you are right now. Uh, some other things that happened, there used to be monthly text limits. So it wasn't like unlimited text like we have today and you can text whoever you want back and forth. You were only allowed so many messages per, per month. So that's something that's changed is that uh, now a lot of us have unlimited text and calling. Back then you had to be very mindful of how much you text and how much you called, else your bill would be a lot higher. Some of you who listen to uh, now that's called music, the CDs or the, uh, now it's through streaming, they were only on their second now that's called music. So they were only on now that's called music too. And now they're way up there in, in so many editions now. And finally, those of you who are sports fans out there, the New England Patriots had never won a Super Bowl yet at this time. So they, in the last, gosh, 18 years, they've become a very dominant football sports team. The Red Sox themselves had never won a World Series yet. So you've already experienced a lot in your lifetime and that anything is possible that a group that maybe thought they were never gonna win a World Series or never gonna win a Super Bowl, eventually made it, made it over the hump and were able to succeed. And that's the message for today. So take a look at these odds. One in 292 million, that is your chance of winning the Powerball lottery. One in 292 million. And they, you think that's impossible, that's, that's crazy. I, I, I will never win that, one in 292 million. You know, that's my odds of, of becoming a millionaire, uh, of winning the lottery. And that is extremely, extremely rare that someone will win that. But let me give you these odds, and this is about all of us. Our chances of being born are one in 400 trillion. Let me repeat that again. One in 400 trillion that each of us 
has won that lottery to be alive today. Let that sink in. That's amazing. So you had a better chance of winning the lottery than being alive. And yet you are here today. You are here today because the creator or whoever you call that higher being or not, you have been given a gift. You've been given the gift of life. And that is something to reflect on and be thankful for. When we get up in the morning and we watch the sunrise, we pray, and that's what it is. That is what this purpose of this is, is life. And although sometimes we're not dealt the best of hands, and sometimes life is rough, sometimes even like what we've experienced now in these last six months has been trying for all of us, this pandemic has affected us in some ways, all of us, including myself. But we are here. And you are here on this first day of school. And one in 400 trillion, you already learned that you could overcome adversity. And adversity is something that we all face. And it is a learning experience. Sometimes we will fail at first, but then we'll pick ourselves up and move forward and keep on living and keep on succeeding and having good times and good days. And you know what it's like to laugh and to smile and to be with friends and family. And I know as, you know, in as we get, as I get older, and I think all of your teachers and your parents, you really start to appreciate that more. And to watch you all grow up, some of you have seen you when you were just little kids running around in the elementary schools. I've known your brothers, older brothers and sisters, and watching you grow up and be who you are is a wonderful and rewarding gift for us as educators. And so you've already met that adversity. Our tribe and the sacrifices that we've had to take throughout our time in this world has been big, has been great. You're here because of the sacrifices and the challenges that your ancestors have had to overcome. And you're here, we have our traditions, we have our language, and most of all, we have who we are, our self-identity. And that's what makes us strong as a school, is our self-identity. We are a proud people, but we're also very humble. And that's what I love about us as a school, that we don't, and we should not, but most, most of the time we don't. We don't make fun of the weak. We help. And I see that all the time. When someone is feeling down, I see you comforting your friends, taking care of them, talking to them. And that is what all that sacrifice was for, that you have that within yourselves to do that. And although we may have disagreements at times, we all come back together as a family. And we all come back together as one. We are here today and it is a great day. The coldness is coming in. The rush of winter now is starting. Our first touch of winter. And you may say it's windy out there, it's bad weather, but this is, what's needed, this cycle, this cycle of life. And so it is your turn now to overcome the adversity that we're facing at this point. We can't start school together. We miss you. These hallways are empty. 
we, at this time, would have been almost a month in school. We would have seen laughter in the hallways, our hallways all full, our classrooms with kids learning, lunchtime, everyone having great lunch, being together. But we can't start like that. But we should not get down about that. All those facts and little things that I shared with you, the one in 400 trillion chance of being alive. And you will overcome this. I know you will. You are growing up in a technology age. Your strength is technology, computers, phones, you name it, gaming. You are a new generation. I didn't even have computers in my school when I started in my elementary school years. The first computers I got, I think, were around third grade and they had that floppy disk. I don't even know if you know what a floppy disk is, it's this big square thing. And you'd have to stick it in and it run a program and on the computer would be just like green and black only, not even color. And the progress that we've made up to this point is amazing. This education thing will be challenging, but it's nothing you can't do. You're probably going to even need to help your teachers at times, because I know some they're still learning some of this new technology. And that's what it's all about. It's about all of us working together. So maybe we or your teachers will not be perfect with technology and you know how to do it. We're going to need you. And when you think about that, that's what the world needs going into their, this next century. We're going to need computer programmers, people who know how to work with technology. Our jobs are going to change. Everything is moving into a digitalized age. And you're going to be at the forefront of that. And the experience you get this year with using these various formats is going to be helping you in the long run. I have three sons in college and that's all they, how college works now today is submitting all your assignments via online, checking what your assignments are. You even do your quizzes and tests online. And I was amazed when I went back to school not too long ago, just how much it changed. Back then you went to a class, you got your test on the paper, um, you got your pencil or pen and you took the test or you did your assignment. You did it on a typewriter. That's what I did it on, a, a word processor. Um, and that's all changed. Now everything is in a digital format. And so don't look at that as something as a negative. Look at it as a positive that it's setting you up for the way you're going to work in college or even your career. All careers now have some form of technology tied to it. Even if you're a person who wants to go into construction, there's technology tied to their software. And it makes us move forward. Sometimes technology is a positive, sometimes it's a negative, but it will help set you up. So look at, it, look at that in that way. We all have a part moving forward. I know you want to come here and see your friends. We as educators wanna see you and maybe you want to see us, your teachers. And remember that you play a part right now. Your, your role, your role right now is to learn but your role also and all of us as community members is to be mindful we have some wonderful trends that we're seeing. The last three weeks, we've only had a handful of cases. We're flatlining the virus out here. And the reason why is because people are taking that serious. They're following the stay at home order. They're following the curfews. And we are looking really good to start school sooner rather than later. 
But most of all, and, and because we're so family oriented out here, you have a large responsibility to take care to not gather in large groups with friends, to wear your mask, to wear, to wash your hands. We have our elderly who we love and cherish and care about so much. And you have that responsibility to take care of them by following these actions. That's your first assignment for this school year. Besides, before we get into all the academics, it's taking care of each other, taking care of this community. Because we'll continue to thrive. We'll continue to have this life ready for the next generation. We'll be one of the last groups standing when it's all over because we know what it means to sacrifice. We know what it means to be a community and to do things without being told to do it. Remember our teachings. We do this for the betterment of the whole and without being recognized. We don't have to shout that we're doing something. We just do it because it's the right thing to do. And if you remember those teachings, it will guide you. It will help you through life. And it will help you in the immediate future in this short couple of months that we have to be away from one another. We have an opportunity to come back to school if we're all mindful of that. We have an opportunity to do all of our sports programs, even our fall and winter sports that have been canceled and have them in the spring. If we all are careful, if we all flatline this and we can hold these things again. So don't lose hope. Don't ever lose hope on anything. There's always hope for another time. And so we do have an opportunity to have a cross country season, a basketball season. You have an opportunity to meet your friends again in the hallways, have lunch with them. So we all have to play our part. We want to see you here really soon. You're about to embark in a different way of how we do learning. You're gonna hear a bunch of new programs. Some of you were on um, a Zoom meeting last week and Mrs. Fredericks went over new programs such as Canvas, Strong Mind, and they're wonderful programs. And we're very thankful to the governing board for spending quite a bit of funds uh, to have these ready for you. So you have a challenging and enriching academic program for this year. And we can't thank them enough for their generosity. When you come back, we're gonna have a whole set of new computers in just about every room. So we've updated our technology. So we look forward to having you here soon. And these programs are gonna be challenging, maybe frustrating at times, but they will help you in the long run. The majority of college campuses out there use Canvas. So you may be fortunate to be in a college next year that has a Canvas program and you're already going to know what to do because you're familiar with it. So be patient. Allow your teachers to give you that time to learn it and to help you and to reach out for help. That's really a hard thing for us sometimes to say, 
I need help. I'm lost. I don't know what's going on. And there is no one that I know of on the staff who will not drop what they're doing to help you or find the answer for you. And I know your friends will also help you. So we have to do this together. And we're gonna be flexible as well. And I encourage all of our staff to be flexible with you and to have that time to learn the programs. But a reminder that you now are starting a new school year. This is different than the fourth quarter. There is no boosted grades. We're starting from scratch. You need to put forward your best effort. You have to achieve the grade to move on to the next grade level, to graduate. You have to take your work seriously online. You have to get into those Zoom meetings. You need to connect with your teacher when they have their office hours and get the help that you need to ask the questions that you need. Don't hesitate at all to ask questions. That's what's how we're all gonna get through this together. Every day at this school with the staff I've been working with, and I've been working with our administration, our managers, some of our support staff here. Every day, people have questions. I have questions and we ask them. And that's how we're working together and where we're all, where we're at up to this point. So you can't be afraid to ask questions. It's not about looking dumb. It's not about not looking, you know, not being inadequate. It's about making yourself a stronger person. Going back to again, our traditions. We don't just know those traditions, we're taught those traditions. We ask questions were shown it. And that's what's gonna happen, something new for all of us. So don't be afraid out there to ask people. And if that person don't have the answer for you, then ask someone else. And that happens and that's what happens all through any type of your life. You gotta ask, how do I do this? Where do I go here? When is this due? And if you can remember those things, those will help you. It's kind of neat, school, how it's starting. You get to be in your pajamas maybe. I'm in my jeans right now. It looks like I'm wearing a dress shirt, but I just have jeans, jeans on as well. Um, you know, it's, it's a nice, comfortable way, um, and it's a new way, and this is not going to go away. As a school, we're looking at continuing to offer digital classes, even when it's safe to return. This may be an option that we have going forward as a school, that you'll always have, if, if maybe in-person classes isn't for you, maybe a digital class is for you, and we're exploring that as a school because we all have different um, strengths in how we learn. Maybe you learn best like this through a video format. Maybe you need to be present in front of someone with a teacher, but we understand that, that we all learn differently. So we are exploring the ways of how you can learn in the future. So that's a lot, that's a lot to take in. But remember the gift of life. Remember that you can overcome anything. You're a one in 400 trillion gift. And we're happy to serve you. We're happy to have you as one of our students, maybe as a clan relative, as a family member. We all do this together. Smile, be happy, be positive.
It's a good day today. Makes me feel good. So enjoy your year. Keep calm. Be respectful. Always be respectful. Don't forget that. And we will see you very soon. We'll continue to do our best for you. We'll continue to get this school ready for you. We got some great protective equipment and things that have come in lately. And uh, you're going to see a different school in some sense when you come back. Uh, but we're still going to be Hopi Junior Senior High School. We're still going to be Bruins. And we're still going to be the best school, the best students, because we know who we are. We know our identity and we are proud. Take care students. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Naha for those words and welcoming our students to the school year 2020-21. Uh, uh, thank you all for joining us. And um, I'd like to start out by um, just giving you a welcome. My name is Lynn Fredericks. I'm the high school principal. And I'd like to uh, talk to you with just a little message to start out uh, the week and our school year outright. Um, I think uh, when the school year starts uh, every year, and it's a little different this year, uh, you're home virtually learning. Um, and it's a different type of school year, but we've got to remember that we're still together. We're all together in this um, as Bruins, as students, as teachers, as community, we're all together still. Although you're not present in the building, uh, we still are here to support you and we will give you the best education that's available to us. And we've done that by providing a lot more for you. We've got the Canvas learning platform. We've got um, the Strong Minds curriculum this year. Uh, we have a lot more things that are organized and also new computers uh, for you. And so that we hope that your experience this time around uh, with the virtual environment is going to be a good one for you. And we're all here to support you. And as I think about the school start uh, every year, I think, and it feels the same this year, is the words fresh start. I, I think every school year when we start off as a teacher and now I'm a principal, um, I think of fresh start. You know, have you ever, um, when it rained outside after a storm and you went outside and you breathed in that freshness and it was, it, it feels like you're alive. It feels like you're energized. It feels like a new when it rains. And I think that's, a, that's the same thing when we start a school year is that feeling of a new and a fresh start. And so that's what we're beginning with as you think of it that way of everything's possible everything you can start anew. And this is a year where you wanna think about it as you start off is what, I, what am I gonna make of this year for myself? And so I want you to think about really two ideas. One about doing you. And I think sometimes teenagers, we think about looking around us and trying to be like everybody else. But later, as you get old like me, you realize the important thing is just doing you. And sometimes that's difficult as teenagers to really think about, I'm just gonna do me. And I'm not gonna worry about what everybody tells me to be like. I'm not gonna be bullied into being something that I'm not. And so that's what I, I wanna give out the message as we have this fresh start to really keep going back in your mind of doing you because you are each unique individuals 
And that's the importance. It's important that you do you uh, because you were created uniquely in this world. And don't worry about what everybody thinks or wants you to be. You just find in yourself of how am I going to do me? And the second message that I'd like to leave you with as we start this new year is do you, but do the best of you. Okay, so being the best of you is thinking about how am I going to improve myself to be better? I think life is about always improving yourself. Even me, as I'm older, I'm always looking at the things that I can do to be a better person, to be improving me on a daily basis. And if you do that, then you start saying, hey, you create challenges for yourself on a daily basis. And you get past the fears that you have in your life because you're going to get better. You're going to get over those roadblocks. You're going to make yourself the best person that you can be. And so in this message of do you also do the best of you and challenge yourself, bring yourself to your fullest potential and think like that every day, wake up in the morning, like after the rain and say, this is a fresh start for me to get up in the morning and be the best of myself. And today, as we start the new year, breathe it in. This is a fresh start. What is it going to be for me? It's going to be positive. I'm going to challenge myself in this virtual uh, environment. I'm going to take advantage of everything that's presented to me. Uh, set goals for yourself. I'm going to go on to college. I'm going to get an A in my classes. If you got Fs in your classes last year, put it on the table and say, I'm going to get A's and B's this year make it better um, and express the best qualities in you. We all have strengths. We all have things we got to work on. Shine, okay? Remember a number of years ago, there was that song, shine like a diamond, okay? Well, shine, make yourself shine every day. Put it out there, your strengths. Um, be Go past those fears in your virtual classrooms and, and um, you know, participate in the discussions. Have an opinion. Do your best work. Be respectful. We are very privileged and you should feel honored to be a Native American, to be Hopi, to be Navajo. Your tribal affiliations are so important because they give you the strength you need in your life to get through anything. I always think that when there's a challenge, when there's something tough put before me, I think, you know, if my ancestors could do it, if they could survive all of the challenges in history that they went through so I could be here as a Native American, I always think that I can get through anything because our ancestors went through a whole bunch more than we're going through today. And you're living with their blood inside of you each one of us as Native Americans. And so be respectful how you carry yourself. Be respectful as a Native American that you have that blood going through you and you're gonna be respectful in carrying that as a Native American person. As a Bruin, you're respectful. We go out on trips and there's many people that say, our students are very respectful. And I feel happy when I hear that. And we have amazing students. You're all amazing students. Carry that with you, okay? Um, in a virtual environment, you know, we might get crazy and put things on the, on the chat. Um, and I know that you're excited about socializing with your friends and you don't have them right here with you in person. So the next best thing is to put it on the chat out there and hey guys, you know, and, and put on there things you haven't said to your friends, okay? But remember respect. Right now we're on a YouTube live session. So just putting anything out there is not so good because it's recorded, okay? So just remember that as you're on a virtual, virtual environment to remember that, okay? To always be respectful, okay? So two messages again, to do you this year, 
to do the best of you. That's my message. And I want you to challenge yourself to think that way every morning as if it's a fresh rain and you're coming out and you get a new day every day to make it the best that you can do. The best day, the best year, and we're all behind you. Your teachers, your community, us as, mini as administrators, we're here to support you doing you. And we are all behind you as we start this school year. Um, it's an all new experience for us, this virtual environment too as well. So be patient. Uh, we'll get through the little kinks, working them out through the school year. Um, those of you that have technology, you know, um, and you're having problems, we have people here to support you. Those that don't have laptops yet, just be patient. We're gonna get one to everybody. Um, the little kinks of the Zoom meetings and starting out today, will all get smoothed out as you get to know the regular routine of things and you'll be like, no problem. Now it's going really smooth now, okay? So just be a patient a little bit with us. Uh, be patient with yourself because as you learn new things, it's a struggle at first, but then later on you say, hey, I did it and it's no problem now. That's how it's gonna be in a few weeks. So give yourself some time to learn the ropes, okay? and give us time to learn the ropes as we're in this together, okay? We are Bruins together, Hopi Bruin, Bruin strong. Um, I want to give that message this morning and I wanna give out a welcome to everybody, all of the students, all of the teachers, all of the community. We are going to make this a good school year for everybody, guaranteed. And so with that, um, you know, thank you uh, for joining us. Thank you students for getting up early this morning. That's great, okay? Another reminder to you students, these are the three steps I want you to keep in mind this week, okay? Step one, log into your Canvas account, 815 daily for homeroom, your first period teacher. They will email you a Zoom link. Okay, it's very important, 8.15 every day to log into your attendance because that could affect your grade, okay? Step two, two, join the live session in the morning as you did right now, okay? We're gonna have the student orientation on a live session every day. So there'll be new things each morning. So step two is that. Step three, okay, three. Log into your Canvas account, okay? In the afternoon, after we finish the live sessions in the morning, you want, it to, you want to log into your Canvas account, use your email or your Gmail account, put in your password into Canvas and it should get you in. And then there's gonna be uh, what's called a student Canvas training. Click on that, it's like a square uh, in your Canvas account. Click on that and you're gonna start working on the modules in the afternoon. I think there's about six of them. So throughout the week, um, you're gonna be just working through those independently, okay? Teachers, you're gonna be checking in with the students, making sure through their email that they're getting it, okay? Students, if you're not getting it, email your first hour teachers so they can help you out. Okay, got it? Number one, attendance. Number two, live sessions. Number three, independent work on your Canvas accounts in the afternoon, okay? So just remember those three steps. Well, you'll be doing that every day this week, okay? All right, I think that ends my message here. And I don't know, Josh, if, um, if it's open up for teachers to be able to express their welcomes, but those on our Zoom meeting this morning, and I don't know if you can open it up for the teachers, but I'd like to open it up for any teachers who would like to welcome our students at this time with a message and a shout out for the students to welcome them to our school year this morning. Anybody? Good morning. This is uh, Joshua Sinjini. I'm the technology support specialist here at Hopi Junior Senior High School. And I just want to wish all your students a, a, a good school.
school year and welcome back and I hope you guys all had a good summer. So let's have a good school year. Welcome back students. This is Mrs. Loma Kima, math teacher. I'm looking forward to um, a great school year and let's get this year started. Good morning, students. Your name? Ah, I didn't know if I was on. I was still seeing <laughs> Mrs. Loma Kima. <laughs> Sorry about that. So students, this is the perfect example of how we're still learning technology. But um, good morning, and I'm so glad you're back, and I'm glad to be back. I'm Miss Edelson and I teach English and drama and creative writing. And I hope we'll have a wonderful year together. Good morning. This is Miss Dallas. Um, at, for the beginning of this school year, I will be teaching uh, Native American studies along with uh, Mr. Lomakima and Mr. Lawrence. Um, but if you have any questions or need any help with anything, uh, give me a shout out, um, email me and I'll be willing to help you. Let's have a good school year. Good morning. Can you hear me? Can you hear? Good morning, my name is Mr. Benali. I'm the woodshop teacher. Welcome back to 2020-2021 school year. This is the longest spring break we've ever had, but welcome back students. Let's have a good year this year. Thank you. Uh, good morning. This is Baron Lomakima. I'm teaching in the PATH Academy. I'd like to welcome all of you back, uh, those that were in the PATH Academy previously and to those new enrollees. Um, just to let you know that um, you will need your own password and username for the Ingenuity program, and I'll be getting those out to you. Um, all students that are enrolled in my class, please uh, email me, flomakima at h opjuniorseniorhighschool.org, and I'll be getting those passwords out to you. But welcome back. Good morning. This is Ms. Makiwa. Good morning, students. Happy to be back. I teach seventh grade a science. I teach a reading lab and PBL. Let's have a great year, everybody. Good morning. This is Ms. Talimtua. I teach seventh grade math. I want to welcome every all the students back. Let's have a good school year. <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead. All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, this, is, this is Mr. Tanakawa. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but um, I wanted to go ahead, ahead and just welcome, welcome everyone back. back. I hope everyone had an awesome, awesome summer. summer. I know things, things are different, different but um, welcome, welcome back, back in. I hope you guys see you soon. soon.
Good morning, students. I'm not on there. Good morning. Whose turn is it? Oh, it's this right. I'll go ahead and go next. Good morning, Bruins. This is Mr. Ricky Greer, the activities coordinator. So I oversee the athletic department and also activities here on campus. Uh, welcome back. Looking forward to a great year. And uh, just teaching staff, if you're watching the YouTube video, there is a little bit of a delay between the YouTube video and the Zoom. Uh, so when you are talking, uh, we are hearing you via Zoom. But welcome back, students. Uh, great to see many of you and uh, can't wait to have you back on campus. Ms. Samia, go ahead. Okay, couldn't tell if they could hear, hear me or not. Good morning, students, uh, parents, and community. We're excited to have everyone back, although it's through virtual learning, and we miss you guys all, and let's make this a great school year. Thank Good you. morning, Bruins. I'll try this again. I forgot to unmute myself. I was really talking away and I forgot to unmute myself. Uh, my name is Mary Doreni. I'm the art teacher here. And welcome back, everybody. Let's have a good school year. Thank you. Ms. Riggs? We can't hear you, Ms. Riggs. Okay, can you hear me now? There we go. Okay. Hi, this is Ms. Riggs Yazzie. I'm the science teacher. So um, I was just wanting to say that I hope you guys um, are going to have fun with this uh, on Canvas program. And if you're having any problems with it, feel free to email us and also feel free to give us some suggestions of what's working for you because um, maybe we might have to change up what we're going to do for you so we can connect with you a little bit better. And I hope we can make this learning more fun for you online this time around compared to the spring. And I can't wait to see you guys in the classroom. Good morning, everyone. Um, just wanted to welcome all the Bruins back to the new school year. Um, welcome to the community also and parents. Um, this is all new to us, but I'm looking forward to this school year. We'll get through it if we all hang in there together. And as Ms. Riggs said, you know, if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, we're learning right along with you all. So welcome back and let's have a good school year. I'm Ms. Juanita and I'll be teaching um, high school sciences. Am I on there? Oh, oh, that wind's about to blow my tree down. Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, students, welcome back. This is Mr. Flood. I'll be your geography and world history teacher, and I'm looking forward to uh, trying to manage this uh, online stuff. I know you can be teaching me, so I'm going to let you be the teacher, and I'll be the student. How about that? And I want an A. And uh, But other than that, welcome back, and I can't wait to see all of you back in class. Take care. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, students. This is Ms. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Good morning. This is Ms. Yazzie. I teach natural language and native arts and craft for high school and junior high. Welcome back, students and staff. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, good morning, everyone. My name is Ms. Bahi. Um, I am the director of federal programs. Um, I might not be teaching, but I'm definitely here to support students and um, families. So if you guys need any help, just um, let us know and we're all here to support you. Um, we definitely want you to be successful in your school year. So it's a very unique way to start, but 
I have the highest confidence in our students and our staff. So I know that everyone's going to make the best of this year. And, you know, um, I guess I'm sending you blessings and um, just a lot of encouragement, everyone. So welcome back to your school year, to your school year. And, um, you know, best of luck, everyone. Good morning, Bruins. This is uh, Ben Lawrence. I'll be teaching. Uh, it's glad to be back with all of you this year. Um, I'll be teaching uh, U.S. history as well as 11th grade AVID, and then I'll also be helping out Miss Dallas and Mr. Lomakima teaching uh, the NAS course. So looking forward to working with you all. If you ever need any help, please reach out via email, and I'll be happy to help you out that way. But looking forward to another school year um, here at Hopi Junior Senior High School. Uh, good morning, everybody. This is uh, Mr. James Lomakima Jr. Do you want to share my audio because I haven't threaded my eyebrows yet? But uh, anyhow, I'll be teaching uh, the seniors economics and government. And if you have any questions, feel free to answer. As Mr. Ben, Mr. Ben Lawrence and uh, uh, Rhonda indicated, I will be assisting them. I will be teaching the NAS uh, sections until we get a teacher. So welcome back. Have a good year. You're on mute, Mrs. Fredericks. Okay, so um, I, if we don't have any more welcomes for today, we still have a few more days throughout the week. And so the other teachers uh, during the morning session who haven't welcomed you will, will welcome you over the next few days. And some of the teachers have even made some videos. So they're gonna be available soon on the website. So, um, so I want to continue on um, with our agenda for today. And uh, the next thing on our agenda is for Joshua Sinagini. I'm going to um, bring him to the stage. And he is our IT um, technician. And he's going to go over with you some pointers and some things he wants to let you know on Canvas, which is our learning platform. And he's going to also be talking to you about Zoom meetings. Okay. So, Joshua, I'm going to give the time over to you right now. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, good morning, everyone. As she said, I'm Joshua Sanji. As I mentioned, I'm the uh, technology support specialist here at the school. So, I have been receiving numerous calls, numerous text messages and emails. I do apologize for not getting to you right away. Uh, just please be patient with us. Uh, we will do the best we can and we'll try to get this resolved as soon as possible as well. So uh, as Lynn mentioned, I'm just gonna go over just a few pointers on Canvas and, and, and Zoom. So let me share my screen here real quick. Uh, before I go over Canvas and Zoom, this is one point I want to point out for Google. So 
if you guys received this during the first technology distribution in your packet, you should have got one of these or in the mail. And I know numerous of you have been asking what is the password. So this Chromebook login right here, this password is pertaining to your Google email as well. Okay. So the Chromebook login is your Google email account. All right. So let me just demonstrate on how to sign into your Google. You want to sign in right here, and then pick, uh, put in your email address and then your password. So you should be logged in. You you should see your first uh, first initial on your first name. And the most question I get asked is, you know, how do I get into Canvas? And uh, I thought this year maybe you know I could try to eliminate uh, requests for resetting passwords. So I wanted to make it easier for the, for you students to log in all in one. So in other words, you can just use your email and your password for almost anything. So if you go right here on the far right corner, you'll see the Gmail images and your profile pic. So you, these little nine dots right here is where you want to go to log into Canvas. So you just want to click on it right there. And then you want to scroll all the way down and you'll see Canvas just right here. Okay. So you should get into Canvas just like that. No, no problem. But um, if you're still having the issue, then you know our student information system platform has not fully uh, transferred you over to Canvas yet. So we're we are currently working on that at this moment. But here you'll get into the Canvas. Uh, you guys should all be enrolled in this Canvas student training right here. So we recommend that you guys start this just so you get a better idea on how to use uh, Canvas, okay? So some of you guys may not see your classes in, in your Canvas yet. Uh, as I mentioned, it's, it's all being taken care of through the student information system. In other words, you guys probably heard teachers talk about it, which is called NASIS, okay? But um, right here on this side, this is the, uh, the navigation bar. So if you need to go to your courses, you just click on the courses right there. Uh, whatever your teachers assigned, you can just go into the calendar and you should see uh, everything come up on there, like due dates, when the assignment should be due. For example, uh, I just set up the, uh, the Canvas student training to be due on these days, okay? Uh, you do have the inbox right here too. You can see who's uh, who's in a uh, mailing, uh, messaging you. So you just go right there. These two, uh, the commons, is, I don't know if you guys have it on yours, but this is much more for the admins. But um, if you guys need help, you can also go right here. I did add the uh, Hopi Junior Senior High School IT help desk. We added the uh, helpline, and this is for uh, students, faculty, and staff. Uh, you're more than welcome to check out the training services portal. Um, if we're not available to assist right away, you can also reach out to uh, Canvas support hotline. Uh, they, they are willing to help out teachers and students as well. And another thing I got asked about is how do I, uh, how do I get onto Canvas? I don't see my school on the Canvas app. So what you want to do is you want to go into your account and then you'll see the uh, QR for mobile login. So you want to click on that. And it's going to ask you to proceed. You will be generating a QR code right here. So you just proceed, and then you just use your camera, and then you just pretty much hold a, hold the a, uh, image of this QR code in your camera, and it's going to scan it. And then it's going to prompt you to the Canvas, and you should uh, accept your credentials right away, your username and password. Okay, so right here on this side where it says to do, whatever your teachers assign to you, this is where you want to go and check what you have to do next. 
okay? And when they grade the assignment, it will come up right here saying maybe you got 100% on an assignment, okay? And right here where it says coming up, these are just like events or other assignments that are coming up in a couple of weeks or so, okay? What I have on my Canvas, it's going to be different a lot to what you have on your Canvas because obviously I'm the uh, Canvas administrator, okay? So uh, I myself, I'm a college student and I use Canvas. Uh, the first time I used Canvas, I was pretty amazed by what it can do. Um, I would rather prefer Canvas over Moodle or uh, Blackboard, whatever uh, other schools are using, or school, 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 Schoology, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Schoology. Anyways, I think, you know, it was great that we invested in this uh, learning management platform. I know majority of the community colleges, uh, universities, they are using Canvas. And it's good that we got our hands on it so you guys can get a, a um, better feel for how to use it. So when I first started Canvas, I, I was a bit clueless too. But what I did was I searched on, on the internet how to do this, how to do that. Uh, when you're in college, usually, you know, you're on your own. And within high school, you know, you, you guys are lucky to have us to hear to uh, be by your side and help you along the way. But <clears throat> any questions you have, please feel free to email them to me or Leland. Uh, I'm usually on my email most of the time. That's where you can reach me. Uh, if I don't answer your phone calls or texts, I do apologize on that. So again, here's Canvas. This is basically pretty much the layout of it. All right. And for Zoom, So this Zoom for Hopi Junior Senior High School employees, obviously it's not pertaining to you guys, but it's pretty simple. I set up on the uh, school website. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into the uh, academics and you wanna go down to educational support department. And that's where you will find us right here, information technology. Uh, this is still in the works. I will be presenting this during the parent orientation, but I'll just give you a sneak peek at it. The help desk hours, that will be adjusted later on, but here's where you can reach us right here. Okay. So this right here, what is Canvas? Logging into Canvas for student and then for staff and faculty. Uh, this will be, there will be more things added on to this. Okay. But right here, the Canvas student guides as I mentioned, you know, if you need to look up, you know, how to do something, I would go to this right here, the Canvas Student Guides, okay? When I first started using Canvas in college, this is where I went to right here. I went into this and there's a lot of uh, helpful resources in here, okay? And the number one question that I'm getting asked is how to log into Canvas. I can't log into Canvas. It's right here as well. How to log in into Canvas through Google. Then I set up the student email, how to sign into Gmail. For Zoom, uh, this is still in the process as well. I set up guidelines to get started with Zoom. So if you don't have a Zoom account, I would uh, recommend that you get one because uh, the school is using Zoom for pretty much almost everything. Okay, uh, to sign up for Zoom, it's you can just set up uh, sign up for the basic account. Sorry about that. So you just want to go click on the uh, link that I set up. It's going to bring you to this right here, Zoom.us. Then you just click on it right there, sign up. It's free. So whatever it'll ask you, just put in that in information. I would recommend using your uh, your school Gmail account, your Gmail address, and your password. 
I believe in the uh, let me see Gmail you do have the apps for it on the side right here or let me see right here zoom for Gmail right here so you could just click on that and you can get into it instantly as well uh, let's see but yeah if you need anything if you need help with that zoom you do have some resources right here you have video tutorials it'll tell you how to do this and how to do that like join a meeting schedule a meeting with zoom and the website uh, I would highly recommend not like setting up things on, on the zoom app but not through the, the website itself if you don't have the uh, zoom app I would recommend downloading the zoom app because it's a whole lot easier that way and it's pretty simple compared to the uh, the layout in the um, in the uh, website itself okay but um I know for staff it's a bit different how they log in but for students it's much more different as well but um that's pretty much all I have for canvas and zoom so again if you have any questions you know just email us You're more welcome to text me on my uh, uh, work cell phone that I provided on the uh, the packet okay but again you know I hope we all have a good school year and we're here to help thank you all right well thank you Josh um, he's going to be uh, giving a little bit more trainings later on in the week so that's just a little overview of how you can get into your canvas so remember when you're logging into your canvas use your gmail address um, put in your email address and then use your password to get in okay um, again a reminder log in 8 15 for your attendance Next, you're going to the live sessions every morning. And then in the afternoon, as you're gonna do after this meeting, is you're going to go into your Canvas uh, platform and you're gonna look for the student Canvas training. And you're gonna open it up and you're gonna work independently on that until throughout the week, until you finish it uh, by Friday's um, the date to try to finish it, okay? I want to give you a reminder to uh, check out the high school website. There's a lot of new things on there. If you go to the section under announcements called um, HJSHS distance learning information for students. If you click on that, you'll see the uh, daily schedule in there um, and um, also the student directions for this week. You'll also see a training that was put together for us from ASU Digital, and it's for students um, training on Canvas. So look into that too. Um, check that out as you've got time this afternoon. Work on your Canvas training, okay? And then we'll see you uh, in the morning when you're um, signed up with your first hour teacher tomorrow for your attendance, okay? Uh, Mr. Naha, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, I'd just like to go over the food programs real fast. Okay. So students, one of my favorite times of the day, one of yours, lunch. So the school is providing meals uh, this school year and we're actually starting today and delivery starting today. So it's gonna be very similar to how we had that short meal program to start off after spring break. It's gonna be very similar. There's information on the website on the links, but I'm gonna share some information for you so you're aware of how the meal program works. So give me just a sec here. So we are serving meals one day out of the week and you're gonna be receiving a huge box at the beginning of each week with five breakfasts and five lunches. So it's gonna have 10 meals in the box. There's gonna be instructions for if they need refrigeration and instructions for warm up. And the box is gonna be like two apple oranges boxes. Have you ever seen those boxes where the, the whole box of apples, the whole box of oranges comes in? It's gonna be like two of those put together that big. 
So you might need someone to help you carry it. It's gonna um, have some significant weight to it, uh, but it's that tall and it's probably wider than those two boxes put together. So it's like a packing box, a square packing box that it's gonna come in. So our first meal distribution will be today. Meals will be delivered on Mondays, usually if we have school, but since we did not have school yesterday, meal delivery will be today, Tuesday. They are loading the buses right now as I speak and will be rolling out um, probably around about 11 to 11.15. Every day or every uh, once a week, either on a Monday or today, it's a Tuesday, we'll be delivering meals between 12 and 1245 at various drop-off locations. This is for Hopi junior, senior high school students only. So your time students is between 12 and 1245. Parent can pick it up, a guardian can pick it up, or you as a student can pick it up yourself. So again, we will only be giving meals out to Hopi Junior Senior High School students between 12 and 12.45. Here are the drop-off locations. So starting around 12 today, and you'll have to be flexible. We're a little late today, um, but we're trying to get everything figured out and get all those buses packed. And um, first day is always a unique situation as we try to deal with the logistical things, but we'll be at the Hope Villa Co-op store at 12 o'clock. We'll be at the Kukotsmavi Community Building at 12 o'clock. The Sangopavi Community Building at 12 o'clock. The Masangnavi Sapalavi Community Building at 12 o'clock. The First Mesa Consolidated Villages Community Building at 12 o'clock. At Keems Canyon, across from the Keems Canyon Shopping Center at 12 o'clock. So all those locations, there will be a bus parked in these areas for you to pick up your breakfast and lunch for the week. I believe it'll be four, four breakfast and four lunch this week since we have an abbreviated week. But all normal weeks will be five breakfast and five lunch. Now, the only time that is different is for those of you who live in the Jedito area, the bus will go from Keems to Jedito and will be there at the chapter house between one o'clock and two o'clock p.m. So again, that's the Jedito chapter house, one o'clock to two o'clock. So your pickup time is a little bit different than everyone else. Everyone else is 12 to 12.45. Now the way we structured our meal program this year, again, our main emphasis is to get meals to the students, to you, the students. Again, 12 to 12.45. Once it hits 12.45 though, we, any leftover meals will be available. The boxes will be available for any child, any person ages zero to 18 years of age. And the child will have to be present to receive the box. So we won't give that to any, um, we won't give that to any uh, uh, adult. So if we have any leftover boxes, your time will be 12 to one o'clock. That's for anyone from babies, zero years to young adults, 18 years. If you're not a student, that's okay. You can pick up a meal box if we have any left over. So here's the procedures. So Today, we're doing delivery these times, 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. The meals will be packaged in an 18 by 18 box with perishable items. The boxes may be heavy and difficult to carry over a distance. They're pretty bulky, guys. The boxes are pretty bulky. Perishable items will need to be refrigerated shortly after delivery. If you are a student, you will need to give the person who's there checking off and delivering the boxes, you're going to have to give them your first and last name as a student. So one more time, first or last name as a student. And then 
after the 1245 time, zero to 18 years of age, the child must be present or the young adult. And whatever leftover boxes, we'll get them away until we have depleted all of our inventory for each bus. Okay, so that is the procedures for that area. Okay, for those areas. For if there's anyone who's going to, um, who lives in the Munkap area, and I don't know, we, we may have just one or two, uh, we will work with Munkapi Day School for delivery of your items uh, to assist us with that. Uh, but we are uh, allowing any, uh, any person to receive boxes after we do our students. And that will help us and students come get your food box weekly. Um, that helps with the count. And we receive money every month called reimbursements that will help us continue to fund the food program. And that, so that's very important to uh, come get, get, a, get a meal, be set up for the week. Uh, again, five breakfast, five lunch on a typical five day week. And that is how it will work. Okay. And give me just a sec here. I'm gonna change it over real fast. So some of you are probably curious what's in the box today. Here you go. So there's the menu for this week. You're going to have bagels in there, juices, milk, muffins, cereals. Um, it looks like a PB&J sandwich. That was your breakfasts this week. For lunches, you got corn dogs, uh, uh, various uh, fruits and vegetables and milk. Uh, looks like there's a turkey cheese sub the next day, chicken nuggets, probably with warm-up instructions, dinner roll, french fries, pizza. So they'll, those will all have warm-up instructions if those need to be warmed up and those will be in the box with your item. All right, so that's just right around the corner, about an hour and a half from now. So very important that you go and meet those buses there to pick up your meals for the week. Thank you. Okay, I guess uh, that is all that we have on the agenda this morning. Again, stu uh, students be patient with us. Um, I guess I'm getting some emails of uh, students who weren't able to log on to Canvas uh, this morning. So we'll look into that to get that corrected. Uh, also check your Gmails, okay, because some of the teachers are sending you the Zoom link for attendance through your Gmail. So you can go on the internet and go to your Gmail account, make sure you're checking your messages on there because the teachers are also sending you the Zoom link through your Gmail account for attendance, okay? So check that daily. All right, um, and uh, so that's going to conclude our morning session for our live session this morning. Again, tomorrow attendance and then live session. And then this afternoon, try to log into your Canvas account and start working on your student Canvas modules and keep working on those up until Friday, okay? And uh, your contact is your first hour homeroom teacher. If you're having troubles, give them an email so that they can help you out as well. And teachers, uh, check your emails and get back with the students. You should be monitoring your first hour homeroom students this week to make sure there's, um, that you're getting back with them for any assistance they may need. Okay, thank you all and uh, welcome again back to the 2020-21 school year and Thank you everybody for joining us this morning. And I'm gonna end the session now. <laughs>